Ever wondered why the aviation legends the F-117 Nighthawk and the SR-71 Blackbird were retired? These two iconic aircraft have captured the imagination of many, and their retirement has stirred up a whirlwind of curiosity. There are histories about these birds, here we go. First, let's soar into the history of the F-117 Nighthawk, a symbol of American air superiority. Born from the throes of the Cold War, the Nighthawk was a direct response to the need for an aircraft that could evade detection. Thus, it became the world's first operational aircraft, designed to exploit low observable stealth technology. This was the true starting point, built by Lockheed's Skunk Works division in response to a DARPA competition for a low observable demonstrator. Flown for the first time in 1978, Hav Blue was much smaller than the F-117 but featured the signature angular design and radar absorbent materials that would define the Nighthawk. Its success paved the way for further development. Five of these larger prototypes were built and flown between 1981 and 1982. They incorporated lessons learned from Hav Blue and were closer in size and capability to the final F-117A production model. These prototypes underwent extensive testing, including evaluations of flight performance, weapon systems, and stealth effectiveness. While not technically prototypes, the first few F-117A aircraft built were used for further testing and refinement before full-scale production began. These early aircraft helped identify and address any remaining issues before the Nighthawk entered operational service, but the Nighthawk's crowning achievement was perhaps its role in Operation Desert Storm. Here, it showcased its unrivaled ability to penetrate enemy defenses and strike with precision. The F-117 was the only aircraft that could operate in the heavily defended airspace over Baghdad, making it a vital asset in the successful campaign. However, despite its sophistication and proven track record, the F-117 was retired, but why? A machine of such capability and significance phased out of service. Well, as with all things in life, nothing lasts forever. The reasons for its retirement are complex and multifaceted. Next, we fly into the realm of the SR-71 Blackbird, an aircraft that defined speed and stealth. This bird of the skies was born out of the Cold War, a time when espionage and stealth were paramount to national security. It was designed by Lockheed's Secret Skunk Works Division under the guidance of Clarence Kelly Johnson. Its sleek dark exterior earned it the nickname Blackbird. It was constructed mainly from titanium to withstand the extreme temperatures from flying at Mach 3 plus speeds. Imagine that! Flying over three times the speed of sound, this aircraft was the epitome of speed. It still holds the record for the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft, a record it set back in 1976. Yes, you heard that right, no other aircraft has been able to snatch this title from the Blackbird in over four decades. The SR-71 was not just about speed though, it was a strategic reconnaissance aircraft, capable of taking high-resolution photographs while flying at high speeds and altitudes. It could survey over 100,000 square miles in an hour. Now that's what you call eyes in the sky. Its stealth characteristics were equally impressive. The Blackbird was designed to have a reduced radar cross-section, making it difficult for adversaries to detect and track. Its engines were embedded into the wings to minimize its radar signature, and it was painted black to blend into the darkness of the night sky. The SR-71 was more than an aircraft. The prototype of the SR-71 Blackbird was the A-12 Oxcart. It was a single-seat, long-range Mach 3 Plus reconnaissance aircraft developed by the Lockheed Corporation's Skunk Works for the Central Intelligence Agency. In 1964, Lockheed began development of a two-seat version of the A-12, which was designated the SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-71 was larger and more powerful than the A-12, and it had a longer range. It also incorporated a number of improvements to its stealth features. The SR-71 first flew in 1964, and it went on to become one of the most iconic aircraft in history. It was used for reconnaissance missions over Vietnam, the Middle East, and other Cold War hotspots. 
The SR-71 was retired from service in 1998 but it remains a popular symbol of American technological prowess. But what led to this decision? Hold on, we're getting there. The F-117 Nighthawk, a stealth attack aircraft, was retired for a variety of reasons. The primary factor was the rapid advancement of technology. The Nighthawk, while revolutionary in its time, became less effective as radar technology improved and could detect its once invisible presence. Another key reason was cost-effectiveness. F-117 was expensive to maintain and operate, with a complex design that required extensive resources. As newer, more efficient aircraft were developed, the cost to maintain the Nighthawk became harder to justify. Strategic decisions also played a role. The shift in military priorities and tactics meant that the Nighthawk's unique capabilities were no longer as vital. The military moved towards multi-role aircrafts that could handle a variety of missions, making the specialized Nighthawk less necessary. The F-17's retirement was a calculated decision, not a failure. But what about the SR-71? Now, let's uncover the reasons behind the retirement of the SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-71 Blackbird, an aircraft that once ruled the skies with its supersonic speed and high-altitude capabilities, was retired, but not due to any failings in its design or performance. Quite the contrary, the SR-71 was a testament to engineering brilliance and strategic foresight. As we delve into the reasons for its retirement, it's important to understand that the Blackbird was a product of the Cold War era, designed for high-speed, high-altitude reconnaissance missions. However, the end of the Cold War in the early 90s ushered in a new era of peace and diplomacy, reducing the need for such aggressive surveillance measures. Simultaneously, technological evolution played its part. The rise of satellites offered a more cost-effective and less risky way to gather intelligence. Satellites could stay aloft for years, eliminating the need for frequent costly missions the SR-71 was known for. Budget constraints also factored into the decision. Operating the SR-71 was an expensive affair. From the specialized fuel to the significant maintenance efforts, the costs were astronomical. These financial considerations, coupled with changing military strategies, ultimately led to the retirement of the SR-71 in the late 90s. The SR-71 like the F-117 was retired as a strategic move not due to incompetence. These aircraft remain legendary in the annals of aviation history, symbols of a bygone era of ingenuity and prowess.